Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Today is going to be a super fun day because my friend and I are going to turn my apartment into a coffee shop and we're going to invite friends over to come by and we're just going to act like we run a coffee shop. Right now it's like 9.15. I have to go pick her up because she's bringing a bunch of stuff and we told everyone the coffee shop is open from 10.30 to 12.30. So we'll see how it goes. I really hope we bought enough stuff for it because I have no idea how many people are gonna actually show up. But let me show you what the setup looks like. Uh, might be a little loud out there because the dishwasher is going on. I cleaned up the living room and this is our little storefront place where you order. I made a little menu last night and it looks super cute. We are serving a bunch of coffee drinks like espresso, americano, drip latte. Uh, a couple specialty drinks, Chinese green goji tea, and we also have a bunch of food. As the menu, I'm gonna put the coffee beans here, but my friend Madeline is bringing those coffee beans. I set up my iPad as like a fake cash register. We have the drip coffee system, the espresso machine, the plants for decor, and yeah, I think it's super cute. I'm really excited, I think this will be fun. I hope I have enough seating because I have this table here that seats four people. I tell people to bring laptops, books, just kind of act like they're going to a coffee shop. People can also sit on the couch. They can also sit on the two chairs in the breakfast nook back there. And now I gotta go pick up my friend so that we can start baking the pastries and get ready for opening. our coffee shop event and it went so so well it exceeded my expectations by so much i had the best time i feel so fulfilled i feel like my friend madeline and i really bonded during this experience so many people came the apartment was so lively and i just feel like i just feel so happy right now like i feel like i've been revived brought back to life and I think it's because I gotta do something creative while facilitating a community. People were talking, Madeline's friends were talking with my friends, and it was just a very wholesome, happy day. We did get pretty busy at one point. Madeline was working the espresso machine, slinging espresso shots. I was working on the tea, the mocktails, and we were baking pastries at the same time. I also had a fake little cash register set up, so I was taking people's orders and recording data on what people were drinking and eating. We also made a survey to send out to people to get their thoughts on the event, so I'm excited to hear back from that. I am so exhausted. Um, my social battery is filled up but used up at the same time but I have another event to go to tonight with my friend which I'm very excited for it's, it's a chunks event they're collabing with a local store and hosting an event and they have like goodie bags and giveaways they also released hair clip recently with bows on it that I really really want to get my hands on so hopefully they'll have those there I kind of need a nap right now but honestly I have to head out in 10 minutes I've been laying on the couch for like an hour so I did get some rest but yeah I can't believe how fun that was and it was just so fulfilling to be able to serve my friends and to be able to see my friends have a good time talking to other people just give them a cool experience we'll definitely have to do more of these i did a quick outfit change just put on a heavier sweater because it's kind of cold out sweater is thrifted t-shirt is from everlane jeans are also from everlane socks are at costco and probably gonna wear my a6 gel sonoma shoes I forgot to film most of the time I was there, but we were one of the first 50 people there, so we got the promised goodie bag. And this goodie bag is so freaking good, so I have to show you all what's in it. The first item is a tea sample from the Chi. Floral tasting sample, no caffeine, it has chrysanthemum, rose, and lotus in it. So I'm super excited to try this. I've been really into tea lately. Uh, also came with some chunks hair clips, of course. And these are so cute. I love the color choices. Also came with these two chunks rings that are super cute and they are size adjustable. We also got some Crave Beauty Beat the Sun 
sunscreen. We got Wooden Spoon Herbs Cap Beauty Dietary Supplement. This jammy tonic comes packed with a unique blend of adaptogens and superfoods to deliver your skin to its most luminous state. We also got an Alexa Smart Flower Remedies Beauty Formula Anti-Aging. This looks like a face oil. And finally, I also bought a hair clip for myself. This is from the Chunks new collection. It's a clip with a bow. I always wear my hair half up, half down. That's like my hair 90% of the time. So I figured this is the perfect clip for when I have my hair half up, half down. I also saw on their Instagram that they have a model wearing like two braids and putting a clip on each end, which is so cute but I don't think I have many opportunities to go that hard with my hair, so I just got one clip for now. And yeah, they also had a booth there to do tooth gems, um, to get nail art done, but it was a little crowded and I was getting a little stressed and anxious because there was also really loud music, so it was a little overstimulating, but honestly, this goodie bag goes so hard. I did an outfit change into some comfy sweatpants. The plan for the rest of the day is to just stay home, be alone, fully recharge, watch some good shows, eat some good home-cooked food, and also clean a little bit from the cafe event from earlier today. That is the plan for the rest of the evening, and I couldn't be happier about it. But um, I am a little hungry, so let's figure out what we're gonna eat first. I do have some leftover pho. Like I have the, the soup, the broth, whatever you call it, and I also have some of the topping, so I might just use this to boil some more noodles. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil noodles in this leftover pho broth. I still have um, some toppings, and then I might also make a Japanese curry. Some chicken I have in Tupperware for the pho. I'm gonna boil some wheat noodles in my leftover pho broth and use the pho toppings and add some chicken that I have pre-made here as the protein. There's not much broth left, so I'm also gonna make another like tomato egg Chinese dish. So I have these tomatoes here that I need to chop up, and I have this Costco-sized box of eggs to use up as well as probably, I think, one more egg in here. So, and I also have some rice I made a couple of days ago to go with that. I just signed up for a Pilates class at noon. I'm not sure if I want to go, but I signed up now, so I have to go unless I want to pay a fee. So I guess I'm going, but I'm gonna pick an outfit for today. Probably just gonna put on some afterwear because of that class that's happening in about two hours. I wasn't really sure what direction to take my day today. I kind of just have an open day, which is really nice. Definitely need some time to recoup. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the first day I'm gonna go take Otis out, come back, if I have time, I'll do a little bit of planning for the week, maybe a little meal prep. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my Pilates class at noon. After that Pilates class, I'm probably gonna need to shower and then I'm gonna go out to Ballard 
which is another neighborhood of Seattle. They have this really cute tea shop I've been meaning to go to. So maybe I'll bring my laptop and do some work there. And then maybe I'll browse some of those stores nearby too. Then I'll come back, take Otis out, and then just have a really chill evening of self-care and watching Netflix shows. I think that sounds good. Mr. Otis needs to go to the bathroom and go for a walk. So we're gonna go and do that. Hi, Otis. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, you wanna go for a walk? Yeah, you do. Otis, stay. 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 <laughs> you looking for this? You looking for this? <laughs> Good job, Louis. Good job. Good job. was successful the little doggo is officially knocked out um, so I'm gonna go head over to another neighborhood Ballard I'm gonna go to Miro Tea and I also have my laptop packed into my tote bag so I can go and get some YouTube work done I'll be back be a good boy love you I'm trying to find parking right now, but I forgot it's Sunday, which means the Ballard Farmer's Market is happening. And there are so many people here right now. Yeah, it's been kind of hard to find parking. I've been driving around for like the past 10 minutes. No, the person in front of me took the spot. Oh my gosh, finally found parking. Oh my God. I just realized I completely forgot about my workout class. I just signed up for a Pilates class at noon. I was walking and I was like, why am I wearing leggings right now and Pilates socks? And then I remembered. No. Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. I'm trying to decide whether to go into the office right now. Part of my team is going in. They're going in because we're assembling some furniture in our lab space, but I wouldn't even be able to join them for that because I have so many back-to-back -back meetings this afternoon. I've been kind of struggling to focus at home though. I've been spending, I think, a little too much time at home, um, but I think what I might do is work from home in the morning, take that morning meeting here, maybe pop over to a coffee shop for a couple of hours and then come back for all my afternoon meetings. I have some leftover coffee from yesterday that I'm gonna heat up. I need to get some smaller like espresso cups for when I drink leftover coffee. And I also want to get more into just drinking espresso. It is a rainy, gloomy day today. So it's definitely not helping my energy levels, but it does feel very cozy. I'm a little low on time, but I really want to have a protein heavy breakfast. I've found that helps 
with my brain fog and helping me with staying focused for the day. So I'm gonna take the time to make some eggs this morning. simple breakfast i just made two sunny side of eggs and i had some potato chinese sweet potato and carrots that i boiled yesterday so i just tossed them in some italian seasoning and heated them up again i'm not the biggest fan of eating at your desk but i'm running a little bit behind so gotta do what you gotta do lately i've been trying to be more task focused as opposed to time focused at work and um, what i mean by that is i'm trying to avoid just sitting at my desk for eight hours a day and rather just focus on getting a set number of tasks done i've been feeling really burnt out from just sitting at my desk and it's super easy to fall into that because people just keep messaging you keep asking you questions there's always emails to answer there's always more work to do uh, but i kind of need to stop for myself and i think i can do that by just deciding what set list of tasks i'm gonna get done today and just do one task at a time get up and leave take a break after each task is done so we're gonna see if that works out today i've spoken about this before but i just need to keep calibrating and reminding myself to set the bar low there's always going to be more work to do and just aiming to get a lot done every day is really overwhelming and causes me a lot of stress i need to make an easy target usually i'd say just pick three tasks to get done but i have so many meetings this afternoon that i might just pick one or two tasks to get done today uh, yeah, that works. Hey everybody, thanks for joining the call. All right, let's take a look at our open tickets here. I have 15 minutes until my next meeting, so I'm gonna make a fun little beverage. It's been a productive morning so far, so that's super good. And and I haven't tried multitasking yet, which is also good, because sometimes I'll try to put a little YouTube video on the side and do work at the same time, and everything just ends up taking longer, and I don't get as much done. But today, I've been focused. I've been efficient, which is what it's all about because we don't want to be working a million hours. Lately, I've been obsessed with mixing orange juice and pomegranate juice for a little mocktail. And I and I like to add sparkling water too, but I don't know if I have any left. This one's already been opened. Okay, yeah, that's not sparkling anymore. Obviously, I like the fizziness of the sparkling water, but I also like that it dilutes the drink a little bit, so it's not as sweet. I have been delving into the tea world to learn more about tea. Like I stopped by the bookstore yesterday after my yoga class and just browsed the tea section and was able to pick up some information and I'll probably go back and maybe grab one of those books. I'm also picking up a very exciting Facebook marketplace purchase today. It's a coffee grinder and I'm gonna have to show you all what it looks like because it looks beautiful. Knock on a wood that I don't get scammed. This is Beverage Girl Summer. I'm obsessed with beverages, mocktails, tea, coffee. I just had a really frustrating work call. I definitely felt a little heated. Uh, I don't know if the other person can tell through the call. I just got a little short and frustrated. I just, I had to set my foot down. I probably at one point should have taken a step back a little bit sooner. I did eventually, but I could have done it sooner. Anyways, um, I definitely need to decompress after that. So I'm just gonna, I'm clocking out today and I'm gonna go take Otis on a walk.